Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to Finding Love in Skyrim. I think it's time that we bring out our final contestant of the night. This young bachelor is yearning to find the love of his life, but can he find it tonight? That is the question. Let's give it up for Barry from Solitude. So ugly. Turn it off, turn the TV off, cut the channel, kill it all. This is Barry. Yes, the very same Barry that single-handedly managed to take down a whole dating TV show because he's so ugly. Barry's not the best looking guy in the world. And on top of that, He's the sort of guy who goes online, sees the local horny hargravens in your area pop up, and foolishly clicks on it, unknowingly signing himself up to get scammed. So in today's pointless video, we're going to help this poor single man Barry here turn his life around from single lonely loser to absolute stud, like me. Stop the cow! <laughs> In order to do that, I came across a few mods which essentially allow the player to have unlimited relationships and marriages with any NPC in the game. So I thought I'd have a bit of fun with the mods and see if we can truly marry our way to the top of Skyrim. Now, if you guys are wondering how Barry could afford his amazing, luxurious house in Solitude, well, let's just say he was the mastermind who wrote the new Kanye Quest's new single, Red Guards in Paris. So uh, yeah, he sold quite a few million there, made a lot of money. <laughs> so stupid. Right, so Barry's relationship grind now begins. First things first, we do need to, you know, take his clothes off because he's got to show his body around to everyone because uh, look at this masterpiece, look. <laughs> the way he stood, he's just got a massive, it literally looks like he's pregnant or it looks like a xenomorph is going to pop out of his belly at any moment. But yeah, first things first though, we do need to go to Falkreef because that is where the enchanted Cupid's bow is, which basically means we can sort of shoot it at anyone and uh, marry them, essentially. So uh, I'll head down to Falkreef. Oh, have I missed it? No, Barry doesn't need clothes. Look at him, an absolute stud. All right, Barry's made it. Interesting textures over there. Now, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought there would be a, something in here to try and attack me. I think the bow is just over there. Use the good old cheese. Yeah, that's it, Barry. Get him. Get the bear. Oh. All right, bye then, mate. Right, lovely. Now, Cupid's bow. This is where the fun begins. Hello, my good sir. I've come to marry pretty much everyone in this goddamn town. <laughs> I could smell you. Give me all of your women. <laughs> He's such a creepy bastard. Right. In we go. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? No, unfortunately Barry does not really understand how marriage works. Have you seen him? I don't even think he could get a girlfriend, let alone get married. Once cool. Temple, I'll buy an amulet of Mara for 200 gold, which will basically give me unlimited wealth in Skyrim. Sounds like a good trade to me. Thank you very much. Now, uh, if I just equipped the Amulet of Mara, as shown here, uh, and for example, I go up to the person who gave me the amulet, all i got to do is to, are you interested in me? And obviously they will say, yes. <laughs> and then I could just get married to him, but I'm not going to do that because I did attempt to get married to the guy who does the marriages, and the game just sort of crashes because he almost speaks over himself. And yeah, it, it, the game doesn't work. So we're not going to get married to you. You can, to be fair, you're probably the most important person here. So uh, yeah, we'll keep you single for now. Now, the best person to get married uh, in Riften is in the orphanage. And no, before you uh, say anything, it's not a child because Barry isn't a nonce. Greylog the kind, which I'm sure she's very, very kind in a relationship. Uh, I mean, it's quite perfect for Barry. Look at the pair. Look, look at them both. Absolutely gorgeous pairing. All right, Grelod. No, I do have business. Me and you are going to get married. 
I'll be glad to stand by your side until the divines take us, if you'll have me. Uh, yes. Together then. <laughs> now we can go and arrange our marriage, uh, which I'm going to go and do right away. What would what you say about that? <laughs> I mean, you just saying that, I mean, I can clearly see that our marriage is going to last long and it's going to be a very happy and healthy relationship. Hello, my good sir. Uh, I'd like to have a wedding at the temple. Now, it'll be held tomorrow, and I'm not going to lie, Barry is quite far from home, so he doesn't really have somewhere to sleep. So, uh, I've chosen the best place for him to uh, stay and sleep, uh, and that is on this bench right here, which we shall name as the love bench. Lovely. Barry is ready. Barry's eager, should I say. He's like, oh, my first marriage, yes. Don't worry, Barry, it's fine, mate. I'm sure there's plenty more, plenty more to come. Now, uh, <laughs> let's go and um, have our wedding. <laughs> oh, here's the proud groom, indeedy. Um, to be fair, it looks like there's a few people that turned up for um, Barry's side. Who have we got? Uh, we've got a Kaji child, which is very strange, uh, and then an orc at the end, and then there's um, Todd Howard in the background. <laughs> And then the person on Grelod's side, well, she hasn't got any because, let's be honest, everyone hates her. Yes! <laughs> Living with you would be perfect. I'll see you at home. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I don't think I really have a home. Um, visit your spouse's house, okay. Which, I'm pretty sure her house is the orphanage, so technically I own the orphanage now. Is that how it works? This is an orphanage, not an inn. He's gone from here. <laughs> the first thing she says to me after we get married is basically get lost. I mean, to be honest with you, I could, I could pretty much kill you, couldn't I? What do you want? You have no business being here. <laughs> this is our. We're, we're married now, Grelod. I mean, you should be happy and should be, you know, should be happy that we're all married. Um, cook me something anyway. Home cooked meal is probably the nicest thing she's ever gonna do to me. Uh, but yeah, no, that was obviously a good little test to see if this mod works, and uh, it clearly does in lovely fashion. So I think it's probably about time that we start marrying people that are. <laughs> You're just gonna insult me, okay? Um, yeah, I think that it's probably worth us just going and moving up the ranks. So I think the best place to probably start is the Yarl Bargraf in White Run. So I think we should head over there now and uh, see if we can start shooting him with our love arrows, which is a bit strange to say. Right, before we uh, leave, I've just decided uh, it's going to be a very short mar marriage with me and Grelod uh, because, I mean, because she's technically my wife now, can I kill her? That is the question. So uh, we'll give it a go. We, we can kill her. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, all, and all the kids just spawn in. Uh, you're, yeah, you're very happy, yeah, but I mean, I've just killed my wife onto uh, the next wife, or should I say husband, which is going to be Yarl Bargruff. Uh, but yeah, you, you guys enjoy staring at my dead wife. Well, dead ex-wife. Have fun. <laughs> oh, this mod is so stupid. Hello, guards. I'm here to install myself as the co yarl of Y-Run. <laughs> Barry's like, mm, power. I can smell it. I mean, look at the size of his nose. I'm pretty sure he can smell absolutely everything. Right in the head. Maybe not. <laughs> Yo, Volgraf the Great I fell in love. <laughs> right, hello, y'all. Um, nah, I'm not. These are, this is my, uh, <laughs> this is my natural body. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. Keep your distance. No, 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 trust me. You won't be saying that after I marry him. My business is, are you interested in me? I am. <laughs> Two love arrows and the geezer is head over heels for Barry. God, love that. I will, together then. <laughs> and just like that, Barry has is going to get married to Yarl Bolgruff. I mean, it didn't take long, did it? And let's be honest, once I get married, I'm basically co-owner of the whole city of Whiterun, so that's going to be quite fun. My belly needs feeding, as you can see. <laughs> it needs all the meals that all of my husbands and wives make for me. 
All right, well, I'll see you in, uh, in Riften then. We'll get married. <laughs> Just as easy as that. I'm guessing your kids will be mine. Hello, child. You can call me daddy. <laughs> oh, God, that's so creepy. I'm not going to do that again. That's terrifying. Hello, Big Barry's back again, and he wants another marriage. <laughs> uh, Sabercat, what are you doing in here? Oh, no. <laughs> you can get married to animals in this game. Oh no, I'm gonna do it. Do you know what? I'll get married to the Yarl first and then we'll see, um, we'll truly see how far we can test this mod. <laughs> and to be fair, we can see how far we can test the uh, boundaries of YouTube's guidelines. <laughs> Whoa, get out of the way here, Aleph. What the hell? <laughs> Trying to disrupt my getting married to Yarl biography, even though he probably is already married. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Irelef is like, nah, see ya, bro. <laughs> oh, Todd Howard is probably there like, bruv, this guy's got married like twice in about two days. What's going on? <laughs> yes, now and forever, please. Thank you very much. This one I won't kill. <laughs> this one I could leave because uh, it'll be funny to see him cook me a meal. The Yarl of Whiterun just goes, yeah, I'll make you a meal, mate. Don't worry. It's like some weird kink. <laughs> that Barry's probably got. I mean, look at the size of his belly. I mean, you know that man's got a food fetish. Uh, I'm going to definitely choose to live with you. I mean, you've literally got a massive castle. So, yeah, live with you. Thank you very much, my friend. Well, well, my friend, my spouse. Wait, what has he gone? No, before you go, mate, you need to make me, a, make me a sandwich. Would you mind cooking something for me? Wouldn't want you going into a fight on an empty stomach. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. <laughs> what a legend. So I feel like to proper test the sort of limits of this mod, I feel like our next target should be the old, ugly Hagraven. All right, Rufus, we're not here for you, mate. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Barry is here for that fine piece of ass. Hello. Beautiful. Uh, I'll let you out, though, mate. And then I'm going to go and marry the person who um, captured you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she saw the really nice pointy nipples of Barry and she thought, oh, yes, I want a bit of that. Look at her claw. She's like, mm, yes. <laughs> Together then. Yes. <laughs> We're going to get married. <laughs> she smells amazing. Sour old woman. All right, well, I'll be back and now, do you know what? I'll meet you and we can get married. Come on, Rufus, you can sit in the crowd, mate, and watch. Thank you. Rescue you from Miss Hagraven, who is going to be your mum very shortly. All right, Rufus, you can come and join me, mate, at staring into thin air on the uh, wedding bench over here. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> There's going to be a random Hagraven in Riften that everyone's going to be chill with. And there's going to be a man who doesn't even look like a man, looks more like a goblin. He's going to get married to it. I mean, this whole situation is so weird. Oh, she's there. She's there. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not doing anything. He's just walking away. What is he doing? <laughs> He's taking the long way around. He's like, I'm going to save her every moment. <laughs> I'm getting married to a hag raven. What's going on? I hope she makes good food. More for me to eat. Barry's like, I do. Now and forever. My favourite spouse. <laughs> I've had one that I've killed, which didn't even last an hour. I've got one that's now a Yarl, which I'm basically a Yarl of Whiterun as well. Uh, and then now I've got some really beautiful Hagraven who lives in a cave. I mean, what's better? Um, could you make me something? <laughs> Home cooked meal. Thank you, my love. That's all I married you for, a home cooked meal. <laughs> Whilst I'm in the right one, I might as well marry this absolute loser right here. <laughs> Just to appease someone out there. Come on, Azim, let's get this over and done with, mate. Oh, it looks like you've actually got someone who's sitting on your side. Is that your wife? There's no way you've brought your wife. That, that's, that's your wife. You brought your wife to your wedding? How does that work? See, Nazi, you're just as bad as me, mate. You're, you're, you've got a wife already and you're already getting you're getting married again. Todd looks fed up now. He's like, why am I here again? Hearing the same stuff. D 
different person. I've been here, what, four times already? <laughs> Todd's, Todd's like, I made this game for role-playing RPG fun, right? And someone's just taking the mic by creating a character as ugly as this, getting married way too many times. <laughs> Nazim, cook me something. That's the whole reason why I married you, mate. That's the whole reason why I marry everyone, so they cook me food. Have you seen this belly? It needs feeding. Now, I was thinking, obviously there's a massive civil war going on in Skyrim. And, you know, let's be honest, Barry doesn't really care much about the civil war. What he cares for is food and spouses. Now, what better than to stop the civil war easily by marrying both Ulfric and General Tullius? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. I came here to fight for the Empire. But I'm not, because I actually want to marry you, General Tullius. <laughs> With, literally without hesitation, he was like, yep, yeah, that's fine. We'll get married. Yep, yeah, no worries. Some random, uglier man who walks in who looks like a goblin. Would you like to marry me? And he's like, yep, yeah, you're the love of my life. You're the one I've been waiting for. You're Out of all the millions of people in Skyrim, you are the one. See you in a day. <laughs> oh god, that's terrifying. Look at his face. See, Barry's doing a good thing. He's he's trying to end the civil war. And to do that, he's just going to marry both sides. So ultimately, he controls who's actually going to be in power. Um, power hungry Barry, shall I say. But he doesn't care about power. Like I said, he cares about food. That belly needs to get bigger. Some people ask me, Rufus, what is the best time to get married? Well... In Barry's eyes, it's 1am in the morning. <laughs> so everyone must wake up to go to Barry's fifth wedding at 1am in the morning. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Who's, who wants to wake up at 1 in the morning for some geezer who's taking the absolute piss with these marriages? <laughs> oh, wait, no, I know who is. Todd, because Todd is a very loyal man. I've even got Mazim in the background watching me get married to General Tullius. <laughs> it's like his NPC was literally forced to be here. He's like, why am I here? Like, how did I get here? Mate, it's one in the morning. Barry just wants food from you. And the only way to do that is to get married. Would you mind cooking something for me? <laughs> the great and famous General Tullius who has somehow has time to cook for an ugly goblin like Barry. Thank you very much. I will eat your offering of food. <laughs> Shut up, Rufus. <laughs> oh no, Rufus fell in love with me. No. Ulfric, I am the beloved spouse of your arch enemy, General Tullius, and I'm here to end the war. And to do that, I'm going to start a relationship and marry you behind... General Tullius is back. Um, do you know what? I actually really hope that General Tullius is going to be at the wedding because that would be hilarious. Are you interested in me? Of course you are because they all are. <laughs> well, I'll see you in a day, mate. I mean, there's literally... You've just met me and by the... He just by the looks of him, he's like, yep, yeah, I love him. Oh, come on, please. General Tullius, be there. Please, please. Where is he? No, he's not there. <laughs> Oh no, well maybe, might not know about it, I mean it is behind his back, so uh, hello Todd, you look knackered over there mate, you're like, I just need to sleep, I haven't slept in five days, I've come every single time in the morning, because you called me for another wedding, <laughs> who's that random lizard in the back anyway with Ulfric, what, that's so random, how does he know who, who, who is he, what the hell, <laughs> Living with you would be perfect because I'm not gonna lie, I live with what six people now. Ulfric, before you go, <laughs> would you cook something for me? Let's see what your talent is. Thank you. Bye bye then. Oh my days, this this mod is is so mad.